Hi everyone, this is Jason here from Nathaniel and in this lesson as part of our series on how to make arpeggio sound unique and develop an original flavor, I am going to talk about using accents or you can call them as accented arpeggios. Okay, I have done a lot of lessons in the past on arpeggios. We will link that up and we've put together a playlist on all these. So do check that out. It'll be nice to see different ways of approaching arpeggios if you will. Okay, so with accented arpeggios, what you're trying to do is divide the beat okay you cannot do this in fact all arpeggios are played a little fast so inevitably the beat will be divided into something so in this exercise I'm going to start with division by two one and two and three and four and and then we'll also attempt division by four which is one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a so what happens with an accented arpeggio is Instead of playing something in a very looping pattern, one and two and three and four and, which sounds rather predictable, what is also happening with this particular vibe is the one, one and two and three and four. It's always the same hit point, right? The ones, one and two and the threes are the same note. So this is where we feel that the music is non-accented or just sounds normal. So another way to count it could have been one E and a two E and a three E and four. So you're not changing where each note is being hit. It's always hitting pretty much at the downbeat. So by beats, I mean one, two, three, four would be the downbeats. E's would be one E, two E. Then the ands would be one E and, two E and. Then the ers would be one E and er, two E and er. So if every note is on the same points of the bar or at the same division point of the beat, it's not going to sound very original or very accented, if you will, right? So to develop an accent, I'll just play what I have to play and then I'll show you from the beginning and we're going to start by dividing by two. So before anything, you need to be able to count one and two and three and four and one and try to say that with me. Go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. And there are two ways to count these things. One is you make the one louder or the one, two, three, fours louder. And the other way is to make the ands louder. So one and two and three and four and. Or else you could go one and two and three and four and one. And you're making the ands louder. Okay. Or more accented. So I'll play with the pattern and then show you. Right, so you feel that there's a kind of a grouping, isn't it? It's like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So these are not triplets or anything. This is just a grouping. And how was that grouping formed? If you ask me, it's because of pitch. It's because the pitch difference between the notes creates different kinds of cycles. So if I go one, two, three, I've begun from E. So if I begin, begin again from E, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, without gaps. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So the E becomes my pivot or my main point of reference, if you will, for this pattern. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And in an eighth note phrase, it will be one and two and three and four and. So it creates a system where the notes are either at the on beats or it creates a system where the important notes can sometimes be at the on beats and sometimes be at the off beats, right? So that's the whole idea of an accented phrase. It's not predictable, right? So this could be visualized as a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Imagining the division of two, one and two and three. You could also strike the accented points a bit louder. Okay, and in this lesson, we are going to look at the four chords, E minor, G major, D major, and A major. It's a four chord exercise. So, E minor, G major, starting from the bottom. So, L, M, H, low middle note, high note. So, L, M, H, L, M, L, M, H, L, M, H, L, M, L, M, H, L, M, H, L, M, L, M, H, L, M, H, L, M. Remember for A major, you can play like this or 
like that so lmh lmh lm lmh lmh lm okay now i am starting from the low note so the low note becomes my pivot or point of reference for the accent phrases so why can't i start from the high note and then it will become right in fact the, the, there is there's a song by coldplay you know what it is which has exactly this vibe h m l of course i'm not playing the coldplay song the video may be taken down so i'm going to play the chord progression 1 2 3 1 2 it's the same thing right but i have now anchored my ear towards the b using pitch high middle low high middle low high middle so the high note now becomes my point of focus and that creates the accented phrase so 1 2 so let's recap you have lmh lmh lm lmh lmh lm lmh starting from the bottom and then starting from the top you have high middle low high hml right and what should the left hand do the nice thing about accents is you in your left hand you can either choose to play those accents for example this sounds really nice very energetic can also played in different styles for example legato or staccato or a combination of both right so if you don't want to play the accents or if you want to com- combine accents with something else you can combine it with something you have to do on the piano no matter what that is the pulse so the pulse of this music would be or right now i'm snapping at the ones and threes of the bar 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and the 3 or you can do 1 2 3 4 right you could decide so if i do a normal pulse sounds immediate like a rock song right or slow pulse something you'd like to play in a chorus perhaps so i'm combining the slow pulse now with the accents in the left hand even though it's the same chords the interest is created because i have two different sections now one accented and one pulse in the left maybe this could be in the chorus right so all through this lesson so far we've just looked at 3 3 and 2 right but if you look at those numbers 3 plus 3 plus 2 equals 8 that's eight eighth notes in a bar which is arranged well otherwise it would be 4 plus 4 which is not accented or 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 which is also not accented why not jumble the 3 3 2 and do something like what 3 2 3 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 3 8 it works out quite well let's see how that works 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 3 so it creates a different tonality tan 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 it's good to sing the top note that can train your ear tum pum 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 play the accents in the left pulse okay and then move forward okay so that was 3 2 3 another variant you can also do 2 3 3 which is tam pam 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 1 2 1 2 3 so you're just jumbling 
three three and two you know and doing three options three rhythms but three three two ends up being most popular i guess because you hear it in a lot of songs so two two three three now two one two three one two three and observe how i am voicing it on the piano one two one two three one two three starting from the top to one two three one two three or i can start from the bottom one two one two three one two three okay singing it it'll really help with your ear and as always the left hand has the opportunity to play the pulse slow pulse normal pulse as well as the accents themselves which are created by the pattern you're making in the right hand okay so moving on now that we've sort of divided the beat by 2 what more can you do we can do something like 5 plus 3 right or 3 plus 5 that's also quite cool so how do i get a phrase or an accent sequence of 5 2 3 4 5 1 so a good way to do it would be to not repeat the main note which you're accenting so if i go 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 see i never repeated this for the entire 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 and now 1 2 3 i do a normal 3 so i'm using my low as my anchor 1 so i'm still dividing the beat by 2 but i voiced it as 5 plus 3 i've created the accented phrase as 5 meets 3 so it sounds like this 3451231234512334512323 let's try it from the top 12345123124512323124512321 okay you can also shuffle the numbers 3 plus 5 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 So just remember if you're doing it over 3 or over 5 or over 4 whatever the number of the of the accent is don't repeat the first note or the anchor note let, let the anchor be as it is 2 3 1 2 3 now it's just threes so let's move forward now to a completely different division system altogether let's divide the beat by 4 in other words 16th note so now you have 16 sub beats or 16 beats in a bar if you look at it that'll be 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a. so just using maths you can just do something like 3 meets 3 meets 3 meets 3 how much is that 12 plus 4 equals to 16 so you could look at your order of notes that way and you get something like double the double the double the double the double 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 the double the double the double the 1 2 3 4 tak it tak it tak it tak it tak dimi tak it tak it so that's a nice 16th note phrase let's try that out i'm starting from the top note here One. So if I count it in numbers, it'll be one, two, three, 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 four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Sounds also like that Brian Adams song, right? I'm sure you've all heard it. Okay, so. What else can we do now that we are in the world of dividing by 4 we have a lot of options it's too much actually to be covered in one video but another thing which i'd like to share something which i enjoy playing is 5 meets 5 meets 3 plus 3 or 5 plus 5 plus 6 yeah so you go something like i'm starting from the low note Remember that's my five accent. One two three four five. One two three four five. One two three. One two three. So five plus five plus three plus three. Let's see how it works. 
that's how it sounds i'll count it 1234512345123123 repeat 1234512345123123123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456123456